Hi, I'm Marianne Williamson. It's great to have this opportunity to speak to you members of the Humanities team. You know, I travel a lot, not only throughout the United States, but internationally as well. And it is so clear that something is going on. This something has to do with some movement. It's a movement in our hearts. It's a movement in the psyche. And it is extending outward, and it's causing all kinds of movement on the external landscape of our lives as well. And this movement clearly does not emanate from one country or one geographical region. It doesn't emanate from one particular religious or spiritual philosophy. It emanates, as I said, from something deep inside the human heart. So it's a joy to get to speak into the listening of this movement. And that is what we're doing here. All of us realizing that in joining, we are creating a kind of unified force field. In A Course in Miracles it says that an idea grows stronger when it is shared. And that is what we're sharing, and I'm really thrilled to have an opportunity to speak into this sharing, this space that Humanities Team is holding. I'm a student of A Course in Miracles, and there is an image in A Course which speaks to this idea of oneness so powerfully. It says this, it says that we're like sunbeams thinking we're separate from other sunbeams. We're like waves in the ocean thinking we're separate from other waves. Now obviously, there's really no place where one sunbeam stops and another sunbeam starts. There really is no place where one wave stops and another wave starts. But think how different your perception of yourself would be between I'm oh, just one little wave surrounded by a huge ocean versus I am one with the ocean. And that's where we are as human beings. And this movement that's afoot, this revolution in consciousness has to do with a shift from body identification to spirit identification. Why? Think about it this way. If I'm a body and you're a body, you're over there and I'm over here. We are not one. You're over there, I'm over here, and there's a space between us. But as we begin to shift our sense of self-identity from the thought that all I am is my body to the realization that I am the spirit which is within me. That is the essence of who I am. And that essence extends outward. It doesn't stop at the confines of my skin, but rather it extends outward and that the same is true of you and of you. Then we have an entirely different reality that we're looking at because that means that there's no place where your spirit stops and mine starts. It means that your spirit extends outward. Your love extends outward from Beyond the confines of your skin, it extends outward. The love or spirit in me extends outward, and there is that place where we merge. And that is who we actually are. It's not just a concept. It's a reality with a capital R once we realize that love is the capital R reality. Interestingly enough, the line in the New Testament, there is only one begotten Son, when interpreted metaphysically means just that. To say that there is only one begotten Son means we're all in. So a lot of traditional Christians interpret that line to mean Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. But from a metaphysical perspective, the new spiritual vision that is emerging on the planet, the idea is that we are all one. Now it's one thing for that to be an intellectual belief. It's one thing for us to abstractly, intellectually understand that. But that's not enough. Enlightenment begins on that level, but then it takes this journey without distance from the head to the heart. We don't just understand it, we feel it. It becomes visceral. It becomes part of our sort of internal operating system. It's how I react to someone. It's how I relate to someone. It's how I see my life. If, in fact, you and I are one, that means that anything I say to you, I'm saying to myself. Any effect I have on you, I'm having on myself. Anything I do, I'm doing to myself. In A Course in Miracles it says, one day you will realize there is nothing outside of you. It's all an inside job, as they say. A Course in Miracles even has an image where it says, if you are about to attack someone in thought or in deed, know that it is as though a, a sword is over their head and you think it's going to drop on them, it actually drops on you. So I think if you're even looking at this video, it's because you get this. The issue now is, now that we get it, who do we become because of what we get? And what do we do because of what we get? That's what's going on on the planet today, I think. Not just in terms of the individual changes that we're making, but the questions we're asking ourselves about the entire human race and civilization as we live it. What does it mean if I am one with all living things? How does that affect environmental policy? How does that affect economics? How does that affect domestic and international policies in our nations? It's like, wow, the entire construct of human civilization begins to shift. It begins to be rethought. 
And as we rethink it, we will recreate it. That's what's happening right now. No matter what our country, we are here in order to hold that space within our country. Our sex to hold that space in our sex. Whatever it is that we are, whatever it is that we do, whatever it is that we believe, as we think this thought that we're not separate but one, that everything is interconnected, that anything I do to anyone, I'm doing to myself. We become different people just thinking that thought. And the more of us think it, the Course in Miracles says, an idea grows stronger when it is shared. Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi spoke of soul force. There's a unified field of consciousness that is rising up now. And that unified field has to do with the collective vibration of people on the planet who realize, wow, reality with a capital R is not what my body's eyes reveal or what my body's ears reveal. We have new minds now. We have new hearts now. We're developing new eyes. We're developing new ears. We're becoming different people. And out of that will emerge a different world. So we're on the move. And Humanities Team is such a marvelous vessel for this consciousness. So I acknowledge all of the work of Humanities Team. And I think that one of the things that all of us can do to help foster this understanding and help create this unified force field is signing that one day petition. It's such a marvelous statement of these things we now believe. All of us, no matter what our culture, no matter what our religion or no religion, no matter what our intellectual beliefs, there's a new understanding of the heart that is emerging, that we are part of it. And I honestly believe that out of this space of consciousness will emerge in humanity. Thank you. It's been great talking to you and having the opportunity to contribute my voice to this rising voice of oneness throughout the world.